Hello everyone, welcome to What If Issa Sees His Daily Life Moment Special Movie. Before we start please go support Alex Black DJ in the black for writing that awesome fanfic, now let's begin. This is the translated version I made, there will be some wrong he or she calling here because it's translated so let me clear this Issa is a male in this story. App 1 What We Do Here. Issa Haidu is a 17-year-old high school boy at Kuo Academy in the second year and is one of the perverted beasts of the kendo club's women who was completely blindfolded for spying on women. But he realized that his life would only get worse if he continued his perverted attitude. I say. I think I should change my attitude, it will only bring a lot of problems he said sad tone. The last time he had a girlfriend, he was tricked into kissing another guy, well he felt a pain in his heart, that was. When they lived in the United States, it was the last time he saw her and he didn't know the news. While she was happy to live here again to her home where she was born with her parents who went on vacation two weeks ago, leaving the house alone. While walking, he felt that he was losing strength and fainted before a blue light surrounded Issei, disappearing along the way, but luckily there were no people. While in the underworld. The four mass that we all already know were in a meeting on politics and territorial issues. Sir Awful. Tell me Searches Chan, have you looked for a way to get your sister's engagement he said with a smile. Searches. I have already searched in every way, but I still haven't found anything he said sadly. Ajuka. Come on, there's time, we'll help you get your sister's shopping done. He said supporting his friend. Amadeus who was completely asleep. Searches. Thank you, I also appreciate your help he said with a smile. But then they realized that a blue magic circle would surround him, causing the four to increase their aura and take a battle in magical posture. But a mist would reveal them, causing the four to faint while being teleported. Even passing the factions Angels and Fallen Angels, Nordic and Yakai, together the Dragons, Grimmery Clan and others who one by one are carried by a mysterious magical circle. Well a few hours before. Issei had woken up during his dream, but realized that he was in a white space. Issei. Where am I, have I died he said in panic. But a female voice spoke, while well, Issei saw him very blushing when he saw a beautiful woman. But beautiful white hair and her clothing is the same white. Issei in a whisper, very beautiful, he said with a look of amazement. Thank you, Issei Kun said with a smile. Issei how do you know my name he said still amazed. I was the one who brought you here to give you a proposal that I would surely not reject. He said with a smile. Issei. What is the proposal he said curiously. Well, believe the supernatural maintaining a smile. Issei. A little he said confused. Let me give you all the information that exists in your world and we will continue talking later, I have to attend to the other guests, while the blue sphere would touch Issei's head, who then remained motionless when he came to process a long report and it would take. The woman left alone and teleported again to another side, watching a movie theater that was all the leaders, clans and volley team. Who saw him confused and some seriousness leaving a tense atmosphere between them, but the woman increased its power, leaving almost no respite to all that is present. Surely you are confused and what are you doing here, but let me speak first he said with a seriousness. My name is Suzuki, one of the guardians of protecting all the worlds that exist. Taking out her twelve pairs of wings from an angel, but it was blue and in a style of stars. The angels looked surprised to see a very unusual angel, and just like everyone else they were amazed. Michael. Tell me you are an angel and guardian of the worlds, Tone said surprised. Suzuki. That's right but we are different and our mission is to take care of the world so that there is no threat against other worlds he said calmly. Searches. Why are we all here and including my sister with her entourage. WHO was also confused. Suzuki. Well, for it to be here, I was a little bored, but why not bring people who react to this world? While everyone had a drop of sweat and a forced smile. Bali. Tell me where the red one is, I'm the only one here he said confused and excited to fight. Ani Sama, please behave, a beautiful lady with long silver hair that reached her hip said to herself, while she pulled her brother's ear. Bali. Now, now, please that hurts he said with a scared look. Suzuki. Fufufu a certain little person is asleep, wait for me here because I have to see him while he disappeared. In the same place. Issei had already processed all the information and was somewhat amazed that supernatural beings and sacred gears existed. Suzuki. Good, you're ready to go to the other supernatural beings he said with a smile. Issei nod since he knew all the knowledge thanks to the guardian. By the way, what's your name he said with a smile. Suzuki, I am one of the guards that protects the world, and yes, you are a fundamental pillar that justifies your action she said seriously. Issei. It's like a protagonist he said surprised. Suzuki. That's right, let's go so we can see one of the future. Issei nods. And both were transported back to the room who saw him, all the beings who saw his new guest. Issei was sitting far away from the supernatural beings who did not yet know him and was somewhat nervous. 
Suzuki. You will surely ask what a human is doing here, but the best thing is to present it on the screen that you will see. All the light went out and the screen was turned on. Well I saw a city that was exactly Kuo, but something that did not fit and with a very dark atmosphere, that all the places were made of ashes and other small buildings were maintained, but there were no people. In the living room. There he is. What happened to the city she said very surprised. Suzuki. It's a good question, but you'll see he said with a smile to look at the screen again. Return on screen. There were two lights from afar, one red and white, that collided with each other. Causing large explosions, leaving them in dust. After a few minutes he had dispersed seeing a shape of a red dragon who was in his juggernaut drive mode. And the white dragon, without wasting any time, pounced on the red dragon, giving it a bite. Red roared in pain and soon after dodged the claws. White dragon. Divide 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 divide. Red dragon. Boost 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 boost. With his great speed he had hit the stomach of the white dragon with his fists, sending it back a few meters. BR. It seems like it's still persistent he said some pain in his neck. BB. I say the same, despite not falling to the curse of other carriers, and that makes me doubt he said with a serious tone. BR didn't say anything, but then with his chest he opened a green gem that would shine a greenish tone. Boost 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 BB. Wow, I'll do the same. Well with one of your hands you would create a white sphere. Both celestial dragons would charge their attack and then launch each other, colliding both powers. Behind the screen. The other spectators saw him in surprise and disbelief, upon learning of the fight between the two celestial dragons, the current carriers, how Issei and Vali were looking defiantly, making the leaders and clans and angels nervous. Vali. It seems that we will not be able to change the destiny of the celestial dragons, even if we try he said with a forced smile. Issei. I say the same thing. Even though I'm still a rookie, I want to become strong to surpass you and the dragon god. Of dragons he said with a protagonist smile. Vali. I hope so, but he was hit by a bat to the silver-haired girl's head. Bonnie sama I won't let him fight with the red one, why if she said angrily. Bali had fainted from the blow, while everyone was sweating. Issei. Who are you he said with a serious tone. Dot. My name is Veronica Lucifer and younger sister of actual hacker Yuku said elegance tone. Issei didn't say anything to look at the screen again, ignoring Veronica who had a vein. On the screen. The clashes of powers between both celestial dragons would win the red dragon by further increasing its power. Thus causing a nuclear-style explosion devastating the entire city and land. After about 10 minutes, the mist had dispersed, seeing Vali with his armor, but very damaged and briefly injured on the ground. But let's say the red dragon had deactivated his juggernaut drive by using up a lot of his energy, and he still stands with his armor equally damaged with his head down and blood flowing on his cheek. He was panting from the difficulty of breathing. Issei. I won he said with a smile. But he noticed the surroundings and something in his radical thought happened. What the hell did I do he said something scared. Well a voice inside would speak of a red glove. Greg. Partner, we didn't realize that we were in the city of Kuo making a mess, the people who passed by died because of our excitement from the fight he said with nerves. Issei. Damn, I just hope the supernatural beings don't blame me for this he said nervously. I couldn't move by expending its energy, but the red dragon spoke. Greg. I'll help you partner, I have something to spare to get out of here he said in a serious tone. Issei. What will happen to the white man seeing the badly injured man? Greg. That doesn't matter to us, what matters is that we won, and we are going to cow cow to help you heal, said a worried tone. To open a magic circle and leave the badly injured Bali alone. Bali. Damn, that attack has left me with pain in my chest he said in pain. Albion. Hehehe, <laughs> that was a very exciting battle, but I already feel the monkey's aura he said calmly and sarcastic. Iku. Damn, I was lady said seriously while picking up a badly injured Vali and carrying him in a portal. Thus leaving the view of the town in ruins. Well several military cars arrived to see what happened. While behind the screen. Everyone looked at Issei and Vali with nervous, serious looks. Issei. Don't look at me he said with nerves. Vali. That's how the dragons look for a more intense fight than we saw he said a little scared by his sister's look. Suzuki. Everything better calm down said with the woman's authority. The celestial dragons fight each other because of the rivalry they have, they are very high. No one in the supernatural beings can stop this fight unless both bearers reach an agreement to end the rivalry, he said a serious tone. 
What they saw is an alternate reality where Issei discovered his sacred gears since childhood and was joined to the hero faction. Changing his attitude would be unruthless. Irina. Why did she become like this? She worriedly told her childhood friend that at this moment Issei doesn't know that she was a girl in her childhood. Suzuki. Why did he reveal the reality of what he is living in, Kao Kao the leader of the faction of heroes, to eliminate or demonstrate to the biblical faction that humans are capable of creating brutal weapons such as nuclear weapons, devastating all of existence he said with a seriousness. Michael Azizalan searches felt a chill. They fear that humans will develop more powerful weapons, reaching the level of magic and science, they are opposite and different. Suzuki. Let's leave today's tension, let's show ship where Issei gets a girlfriend for the first time he said with a smile. Issei. Yes he said excitedly. Bulda white Peely with a white military cap clicks her finger and an image appears. Bulda fallen angel named Rainer was left in shock and shame upon seeing such a daring image. Riaz was left in shock while his parents, brother and entourage looked at him with a mischievous look, mockery and disbelief. Then Alana. Wow daughter, I didn't know you were a lesbian she said with a smile. Don't worry, we will support you, said his father Zioticus with a forced smile. Searches. Riaz tanned he said in disbelief. Rafia was holding back her laughter and a mischievous smile. Riaz. It's not what it seems, Oka-san and Odo-san she said in panic and blushing. Kiba. But you, we support your relationship with the fallen angel he said a forced smile. Pineko. How indecent she said without expression. Akeno. Ara ara, that's why you gave us a day off while you were doing something at ye she said a mischievous tone. Riaz. Akeno she said embarrassed and smoke coming out of her ear. Well with the angel's fall. Rainer had fainted from the mocking look and rogue. Enemu? Wow, my student is already growing she said with a tear of happiness. Araquil. I still don't believe in this he said uneasily. Azizel was laughing inside at such a daring scene. Halloweiner, Middle and Donaseek were totally shocked, while Kakabiel looked disinterested. While Lissay, being a closet pervert, would record in his memory, thanks to his mind that he had to hide his perverted side a little. While Los Angeles was totally calm but a forced smile. Gabriel covered his eye so as not to see the scene, also his queen of the heart is behind her. Michael sorry father, but I don't want to fall while he closed his eyes. Suzuki. Haha, <laughs> sorry for the wrong image he said with an evil smile. Riaz. Shut up and change it, Redeed said very embarrassed. Suzuki. Fufufu, this is the real ship where Issei and Roswius are a couple he said mischievous tone. Making those mentioned blush. Auden. Well, well, until you finally have someone he said in a funny tone. Gondal. The truth is I feel very proud that my strict granddaughter got a boyfriend while wiping away her tears. Roswius had blushed when she saw that boy, the truth is that in her thoughts she seemed cute to her, so she decided to approach our brunette who had a blush on his cheek, but he saw the silver-haired girl who made a scene. While touching her cheek with a blush with a flirtatious voice. Tell me boy, what's your name said the white-haired woman in a flirtatious tone. I say. I say hi to Miranda of Valkyria. Roswius. My name is Roswius, I'm a Valkyrie, and Adi doesn't matter right while making a puppy face. They say. Pa not at all while his heart wants to explode from the beauty of the Valkyrie. While he was seen by everyone with a smile and others disinterested, one of them looked somewhat jealous. Her name is Brunald, one of the strongest Valkyries in the Asgard Kingdom. Who saw the brunette with his other sister who saw him jealous. While they both started talking to get to know each other and yes, the more you get to know Issei and their personalities, the more women you will fall in love with when you are a grown man. Suzuki. Good, another ship is going the woman said in a funny tone. While all the women were waiting for who would be the Sekiryute's next partner. And the leaders were also curious. While another ship came out but with Issei and Arena. Well with Issei. Issei. Who is that girl said the brunette somewhat blushing and confused. Roswius. You were unfaithful to me he said in a threatening tone. Issei. No, wait, but he was interrupted by the girl with pigtails who has a happy expression. Irina hello Issei kun, you remember me said a childish tone. Issei stared at him with his pigtailed eyes, while well, he looked down and up, and then for a few seconds he had recognized him. Issei had his mouth open when he discovered who it was. Issei shy should you I say incredulously. Hap 2. Do not reveal secret in meme. Previous chapter. Issei shy should you looking at the pigtailed brunette who had a smile. How long Issei Kun looking at the brunette in disbelief? Issei was shocked to know that his childhood friend who spent so much time. As her cheeks blushed. Issei. H how long shy should you said the chestnut. Call me Irina it's my real name said the brunette with pigtails smiling. Issei. Irina she couldn't take it anymore and had fainted. Irina. I Issei Kun she said something worried but changed to jealousy. For the woman who accompanied him. 
Rasuiasu arrived in time so that he did not fall to the ground and picked him up and put him on his lap, leaving it visible to everyone as if he were a couple. Rasuias. Although we know each other little, but I still want to know more about you said the Valkyrie with affection. Irina. Who are you and what are you doing with my childhood friend looking at the somewhat jealous Valkyrie? Ross. That's none of your business looking at a glance crossed with lightning with Irina's defiantly. Suzuki. HMP, well, what were we doing? Let's see the dark secret that each of you has looking at everyone with an evil smile. Everyone had a pale expression knowing that he would reveal his secret that he should not know. Roswius and Arena did not take their eyes off while Issei had woken up unexpectedly when he heard the Guardian's words. Issei. Haha, <laughs> what a good joke said the brunette with a nervous smile. Suzuki. Do you see me looking like a clown said the Guardian with an annoying streak. Because of your big mouth I will reveal your secret to you he said in a funny tone. Issei. Muuuu. Ross and Arena. C.E. While everyone would calm down but will not be saved when he reveals secrets. Suzuki. Tell me Issei-kun, did you know that you like girls with big oppi and firm hips, well a magic circle would arrive with a box of wafers poster. While Roswius and Arena have been surprised by Issei's dark secret. Obviously Issei will be a pervert in the canon, but here he is a closet pervert who hides his side. While he would show a quality poster, well everyone was amazed by such a side of the seeker Yuite. Issei. Okay, okay, I admit that I like this kind of thing, but I'm not a degenerate who steals women's legs, either he said sincerely and somewhat annoyed. Suzuki. You finally admit them, but the two are not convinced pointing behind him. Issei felt two threatening auras, and when he turned around he saw two women with a holy smile, but nothing good. Issei. Kai girl said the brunette with fear. Ross and Arena. We have to talk when we get back home said the two women with a sweet and threatening tone. Issei with a high Valencia value. If you want to talk seriously, you should respect my side, since no one is going to change me, Issei said in a serious tone. All the men and leaders had been surprised by the bravery of facing the wrath of the women. Note. I will not put it as a typical fear of women when I read other fanfic and that despite their magical power levels. Ross and Arena. Okay, both said sighing. Suzuki. Good who's next looking at the others who are nervous. Suzuki. Sona Citri looking at the demon who had a serious and neutral look, but inside she was nervous and scared. Sona. Why yes Suzuki said the black-haired woman somewhat nervously. Suzuki. Tell me your secret that you've been carrying all this time when I was a girl looking at the black-haired girl. Sona. What do you mean she said a little scared. Suzuki. So you're not going to say that you stole several dolls from Ria's during her childhood looking at the redeed who was shocked. Sona. Nuo, she has cute dolls and I don't she said something, scared by Ria's look. Seraphol and her entourage had been surprised by Sona's attitude despite her cold gaze and would be. Suzuki. Good, look at the screen. Years ago. Sona. Please laugh, lend me your bear said the little black haired girl with an annoyed tone. Ria's. No, you have yours, and why don't you ask your older sister while the redeed pouted. Behind the screen. We saw Searches who was nostalgic and cried in I'm style. Searches. Wayaya, I want my little Ria Tan to redden he said the red-haired mass. Brafia who was not married, how his queen should behave. Brafia. Calm down, that's not the attitude of a mass the silver-haired woman said reproachfully. Zioticus. What a memory while wiping his tears. Then Alana. I want my girl said the older brunette with a nostalgic smile. While Seraphal who has the same situation, while hugging Sona who was red, her childhood secret. Rias. That's why you had a little doll in my room, Redeed said with a frown of annoyance. Well back on the screen. Sona this is going to stay like this said in her thoughts. After a week, Rias had realized that her dolls that she left in her bed and another in the closet one by one are disappearing as if nothing had happened. Rias. I don't know what's happening, I think someone came into my room to steal my cute dolls she said a little angry. Well the power of the destruction would increase, but the door was opened by the silver-haired maid who had a serious look. Rafia. What is causing you to suddenly increase your power of destruction, Oju-sama looking at the redeed who had a sad expression. Rias. My dolls this week are suddenly disappearing, and I can't know who came into my room, the redeed said on the verge of tears. Rafia. Don't worry, I'll take care of who is in this house, meanwhile I made a barrier seal that only Gremory families can access. This barrier will protect you and your things safe from any intruder, I must talk to your mother about this sudden situation, while she turned around to continue her activities. Rias. Thank you said the Riti to go into her room. Avsona. That's why I've been borrowing Ria's dolls, as long as she doesn't realize it was me, said the black-haired woman with a smile. While I was playing the dolls. The screen turns off. Seraph also tan looking at her younger sister with a serious look. Sona. 
I know, I was selfish at that time when I was a girl she said somewhat regretfully. Brias. It doesn't matter anymore, our childhood friendship continues, but it won't stay like this, Reed said with a defiant smile. Sona. We'll see returning the smile. Suzuki. Since your problems are resolved, I'll choose the next victim. Looking at the others who had a drop of sweat running down their face and others are calm. Suzuki. Bali, Kuroka, Azazel or Michael you also don't have a ridiculous secret, but I still have to respect privacy, he said in his thought. When an idea occurred to him. How about the two celestial dragons, said the guardian angel of the dimension with a smile. But Albion and Drag within their wielders sealed in the sacred gears, had a total expression of terror. But Lissay on his left arm an emerald appeared in his hand. Drag. Why me and my rival he said nervously. Albion had not spoken because he disconnected from reality. Suzuki. Tell me why they don't tell their carriers who they really are looking at the two boys who saw him with curiosity and a little nervous. Greg. There is no other way, Albion better tell him he said with resignation. Albion. He takes me said the dragon or rather dragon. All both would come out of the sacred gears showing two human forms but have the appearance of a woman. Dragon Femme. Albion 5. Both bearers had been surprised by the beauty of the two celestial dragons who had a shy expression. Greg Femme, my name is Dragna Gotch. I am the Red Empress of Domination said the dragon, very saddened by everyone's gaze. Albion Femme, I am Albany the Vanishing Dragon I am the Supreme Empress Tone said proudly. Issei, knowing little about his companion, rather a companion, had fainted. Dragna. Companion said the dragon somewhat worried as she went to help. Balvali who had an expression of disbelief and blush that he had been with her for so long supporting him and raising him as if they were brothers, but now he doesn't see her eyes as a brother, but as a woman. Albany. How do I look, Vali Kun said the dragon, somewhat blushing at the silver-haired man's gaze. Vali. T you look h beautiful he said the last word and then fainted. Leaving her blushing and she went to help her beloved companion. Suzuki. Well, since everyone calmed down he said in his thoughts. Well I saw the two dragons helping their carriers, well, who wants to see memes looking at everything, somewhat confused. Gabriel. A question Suzuki, I want to know what a meme is he said innocently. Suzuki. For your answer, there is the screen in front of you. They see a lots of meme and laugh. Hap 3. Valentine's Day for Sekar Yuite. After an embarrassing and attempted murder by his women. Suzuki. Well, let's leave the bullshit aside today is Valentine's Day he said with joy. Searches. But, the date is already past El Siskin said confused. Suzuki. I said that today we are in San Virginia Latin, did you hear said the woman with a murderous aura. Searches. Yes, I understood it he said with fear. Rafia was with a tired sigh. Suzuki. Hello everyone, let's give it a new universe he said calmly. We see on the screen. The day is a very special day. For those people who have a partner and friendship. Where the boys bravely declare to their secret loves that there are few who accept or others reject it with a pain in their heart. It is better that they know him in the friend zone. Unfortunately I was also rejected and sad. Where in the Haidu residence we see an essay lying in his bed covered up. If not, he was called by his best friend Yuda Yumi. Issei was not looking since he was passed out from the beating of his women. Rias. Wow, Yumi, why didn't you tell me that you were friends seeing her blonde knight who had a blush on her cheeks? Yumi. Haha, <laughs> that's why you didn't ask me he said calmly. Searches. Better keep watching he said with interest. Yumi knocked on the door several times. Issei. What do you want, Yumi Issei said quite annoyed. Yumi. I wanted to know if you like to watch a movie she said calmly and worried about her friend. Issei. No thanks, today is Valentine's Day, and I don't want to know anything about love he said tiredly and annoyed. Yumi just had an idea. To convince her friend to go out. Yumi. What a shame, if that's the case, I received a love letter, and I think I'll accept being the girlfriend of someone prettier than you Issei Kun said the blonde maliciously. When Issei heard these words from Yumi, he opened the emerald eyes of a dragon that signaled that he was not happy. While Yumi would wait for the brunette's response, she would leave slowly, but a door was suddenly opened. Seeing an essay with his hair covered. Yumi felt somewhat fearful when she saw her friend's reaction. Issei. I will not accept that an Indian touched you said the brunette somewhat jealous. Yumi. He he's jealous said the blonde with a nervous smile. Issei. No. Yumi. So said the blonde. Issei. Today you won't go out in this house changing an evil smile. Yumi had a bad feeling since she saw Issei's smile. Yumi. Yeasa, I have to go to Sai he was interrupted by being hugged. Yumi felt a warmth from Issei's torso. Issei. You won't let someone steal my girl from me he said seriously. Yumi had blushed at what Issei had said. Issei. 
That's why you won't leave here a virgin said the brunette, looking lustfully with emerald eyes. You me? He, no say kun, wait we want to watch some movies trying to convince his friend, but nothing worked. He was dragged into the room where say. You me? But you help me e the blonde screams. Unfortunately, there was no one in the residence, but just the two of them. So they closed the door. While outside the scene, the Gremory girls were surprised and seeing Yumi who had a blush and smoke coming out of her head. Rias. Wow, I didn't expect it said the very red-haired woman. The Keno. Ara Ara, poor my Hawkeye she said licking her lips imagining an essay on her dominion side. Asia she was very red and covered her eyes. Hineko. Indecent and at the same time you provoked your destiny he said expressionlessly. Balisse's girls. Roswis, Irina and Driagna Gotch was blushing, surprised and upset at having more competition. Issei doesn't wake up still unconscious. Tsusuki well, leaving this aside, we are going to play another scene where it involves leaders of the factions on that Valentine's Day. Searches Azazel Michael feeling a chill and a little nervous. Inside the scene. We see in the underworld faction, specifically in Lucifer's mansion, Searches was doing paperwork while in front of her is Grafia Lucidfuge with a whip in her hands and half-closed eyes. Searches was trying hard to finish his paperwork and knew that his life depended on whether he wanted to be castrated. Searches. Damn, I'm done tired and fell to the ground. Grafia nods and leaves. Fine, take the day off. Searches the current mass Lucifer and being single why he never married Grafia as he had no feelings, but she is still considered his senpai. Searches was thinking, I need to relax a little, maybe I should, but he was interrupted by a magic circle where Azazel appears. Azazel searches, we have to go fast grabbing searches like a bag of potatoes, and was carried back in a magic circle. Searches no wait, I'm not ready is ignored by Azazel where he arrives outside the bar in Japan City. Out of the scene. Auden. Wow, I didn't think that the searches, one of the most powerful in the underworld, would be afraid of his own servant he said mockingly. Azazel. Hahaha <laughs> he laughed non-stop. Michael the first think I have the wrong idea that I'm the strongest here, Michael said with a smile and kept from laughing. Well searches was somewhere else in a depressed position and whispering that no one respected him. Raphia. It's my way of doing my job, if he doesn't do his duty, well he put on his sweet and gloomy smile, whoever doesn't do his duty will teach me a lesson taking out a whip. Making all men shiver and fear that woman. Issei felt a chill and unconsciously hugged the three girls. Briagna. Wow, wow accepting and taking the left arm. Roswis hugs him on top of her neck. Irina taking the right arm. While the three of them were still in dispute over who would take the spotlight and who would win Issei's heart in a competitive way. Tsusuki well, then let's show another time what the three leaders will do. She said with a thoughtful smile. How about Hexy mother and aunt said a funny smile. Issei woke up suddenly and feeling a bad feeling in his chest. Not that, not that, except that, Issei said with a dramatic look. Tsusuki oh wow, we have something you're hiding from us, she said with a malicious smile. Issei is somewhat terrified and backs away. Don't make me remember that trauma, he said nervously. Chapter 4 Look for a Pleasure. In the previous chapter. Issei somewhat terrified no less that, I don't want to remember that moment again. Tsusuki with a malicious smile. You tell us something that hides something from us. Issei was somewhat nervous and terrified, while the three girls looked at him with red eyes with fire, a sign that he was not going to survive another beating. Issei in his thought shit. We continue forward. Tsusuki. Well, as you will see, this is a special case where we will see an Issei from his past that marked him before and after before arriving in Japan. Search as well if it is something strong for the Sekiruite, I think we can help him he said with a smile. Azazel that's right, what's wrong with it, said the mad scientist fallen angel. Michael in his thoughts and has a lost look when reading the Sekiruite's heart, that feeling is something strong for the kind heart, feeling a chill and nerves inside. Gabriel something's wrong, brother, she said innocently and worried. Michael it's nothing, I just think it happened so that the Sekiruite is traumatized or not. Gabriel nods and saw the screen that began to light up. Tsusuki says, I warn all men to stay calm and judge at the end of the event. Vali ha ha, what we will see is not going to affect me at all, said Vali with arrogance and smile. Tsusuki looked at Vali, that's what you say, then you'll tell me the opposite, well listen to what it's about. Tsusuki to summarize what happened to Issei who met two women in the United States, and one of them is his partner, before returning to Japan. Rumi, 18 years old, one day I was passing by in the supermarket to pay for it, a pretty handsome boy who was the cashier, he had flirted and chatted. But as the days go by trying to feel that feeling and feel special again, typical mentality of seeking experience beyond the line. So one afternoon she called her best friend Coral, having a particular idea that would harm her, but also both Issei and his girlfriend Rumi. 
She was in her room, both of them began to dress explicitly, while at the same time looking for boys on the internet, Rumi wants to gain experiences with other men to please her current partner Issei. While in the movie theater there was a moment of silence and a tense atmosphere. For Issei, who was in his seat with the three girls joining Yudo Yumi, he had heard what the guardian of the world was saying. He was crestfallen, somewhat depressed, sad and upset when remembering those moments. For the demonic faction, Searches was listening to what Suzuki had said with an expression of surprise, annoyance and sadness for the Sekiruite. It's a completely stupid idea, said Benelana Gremory with annoyance. Since something similar occurred to you that could ruin a relationship, re as if some of you had a boyfriend, remember not to make those mistakes, Ziotika said seriously and looking at his daughter. Re as who listened to her father I understand father, but you know that I am not stupid to have this absurd search for experiences, said Re as calmly and little bothered. Tsusuki in his thought, the truth would say that it is hypocrisy to know in another universe where she betrays him, but also his entire entourage, but I will not judge why they are not all the same, if she knew what was happening in another world, she wouldn't have the slightest idea how she would react. Serena said seriously. The Keno Kaneko, Asia she was silent, each of them has a different perspective, and the only reason they agree is Rhea's Gremory's father and her mistress and president. Serafal who had a raised eyebrow and storm, while Sitri sounded next to Tsubaki Shinra, knew that they were right, and those girls who hurt the Sekiruite were somewhat upset. In her mind, she didn't know the bearer much, but she did know Issei because of the pervert from Kuo Academy. While Vali who was silent, just kept quiet. Veronica Lucifer, Vali Lucifer's younger sister, only maintained a certain serenity and would be, looking at her brother's rival, the Sekiruite who only feels pity and sorrow. Inside the scene. Rumi and Coral who are both best friends since elementary school, and now she was studying in high school. We see. Rumi, a black-haired girl with red eyes, white skin and thin, long-sleeved shirts that are somewhat tight and show your chest, formal pants that are also tight and show marked buttocks. While her best friend Coral with loose hair, big breasts, has the secretary's uniform with a lens. Outside the scene. Searches, Auden, Azazel and most of the men had blushed with tremendous beauty, while except to say, he only appeared serene and serious. Odd and for God's sake, for God's sake, I have never seen anything like this holding a few drops of blood over his nose. Searches who had a headache when mentioning the god, but also a blush when he saw the two of them in the scene and in his thought damn, I know what to do during the night, but no, knowing what she did said the siskin dot. Azazel only saw every detail but was hit by Penemu, the cadre and the only strongest woman in the fallen angels. Penemu perverts and that's why you left me doing the paperwork all the time she said, somewhat annoyed. While Roswis, Driagna, Irina and Yumi looked at and compared their breasts, Roswis did not worry about why her size is big, Driagna also did not worry but her feature. While. Irina and Yumi only had a pout since she is barely developing. Issei only had a blush when he saw the four girls checking his breasts and controlled his impulses of wanting to get tired of it. Irina sees Issei, I can't believe you fell in love with someone older than your age, when I was absent all the time she said with jealousy and seriousness. They say a little nervous I'm sorry, he he he. Inside the scene. Rumi and Coral were dressed in an explicit and provocative manner as she searched her laptop. Coral well, there are many here that we might be interested in while scrolling the page. Rumi, you think this is what we gain experience and please my say, she said in doubt. Coral don't worry, he won't find out anything, and we're just going to have fun and gain experience winking his eye. Rumi well if you say so, we will do it she said with a smile. Spending half an hour looking for candidates until I found one where I had called in particular. Coral we already found a candidate she said excitedly, and so did Rumi. While she read the profile. Name Alexander Leiben Guts. Age 37 years. Occupation businessman Contrastall Corporation, a Japanese and North American construction company. Status. Single. Coral what do you think, he's someone handsome, muscular and maybe hexy she said mischievously. Rumi had a blush on her cheek and at the same time licking her lips. So they sent messages where, by surprise, they responded. Coral well, we'll choose this little man, he says let's go at night to meet at the bar near the mall, he said with a smile. Rumi well, I hope we can learn from this. Coral don't worry Rumi, I promise you that this will be unforgettable, and you will give the lesson a very good taste to your boyfriend, he said with a wicked smile. Rumi just nodded determinedly and decided to do it that she would later regret. As the afternoon was getting dark, I was sitting at the bar while having a few two drinks to spend time chatting. The subject arrived wearing black shoes, jean pants, a blue shirt and a black jacket, white skin and his hair combed elegantly. Alexander hello my loves, nice to meet you in person, said the man mischievously. Stone and coral was annotated. Dot. Rumi somewhat blushing hello, my name is Rumi, nice to meet you she said, raising her hand. 
Alexander took Rumi's hand, giving a kiss, like the gentleman he is xd. You are very beautiful, Rumi I hope we get along very well giving a wink. Orlahem said a little annoyed. Alexander the first didn't forget you, Detenshi kissing Coral's hand, blushing. Coral I'm glad to meet someone who is very polite and at the same time, Coral said, licking his lips. So they spent a few hours chatting, flirting and a little alcohol. You were all seeing it in different ways, one annoyed, other uncomfortable. Issei, who saw this, felt jealous of approaching his ex-girlfriend in that way, since he did not know the event where she had cheated on him. Brygana only had to hug Issei's left arm where she snorted. Braswius on Issei's back hugging her, he had in his mind the 100th way to torture her. Irina Shidu hugged her right arm where she had a lost look and inside some flames of anger. Yumi Udo on her lap only caressed Issei comfortingly. So that started, he said, whispering angrily and sadly. Briagna don't worry, buddy, this has already happened, and you'll have to learn to keep moving forward with us, he said affectionately. I say thank you Driagna, you really know how to cheer me up smiling. Inside the screen. Rumi and Coral with their companion Alexander had left the bar and was a little drunk but still conscious. Alexander good girls, what do you think if we go to another level? He said in a malicious and flirtatious tone. Coral sounds good to me, plus Rumi wants to have a certain experience to satisfy a certain person he said mischievously leaving Rumi very red. Alexander was processing what Coral had said and was very unfortunate to take advantage of the situation. Alexander you know there are certain lessons to satisfy a certain person he said with a smile, but inside he hid his intentions. Rumi seriously, tell me what it is she said excitedly. Alexander let's go to a certain place, why I assure you that you will have a wonderful time, isn't it Coral he said maliciously. Coral only nodded with a wishful smile. Rumi, somewhat innocently excited, nods off-screen. The atmosphere was tense, and a sudden aura of power emerged on the other side of the seats, and they saw how Issei had a red aura, while well he only had an expressionless look. Briagna feeling the emotions of his wearer, feeling the anger, resentment, sadness and pain, if that were not the case. Briagna was feeling the negative influence of the former wielders, with not very good intentions towards Issei, of wanting to use the forbidden mode. Briagna takes Issei's left arm, Partner, you must calm down, and there is no point in changing the past that is already done, you should face your fears and trauma that has left you marked by that woman that you do not deserve to remember she said seriously and firmly. Issei only calmed down and had his sad expression again. On the other side of the chair. Griselda Quarta who is Gabriel's right hand, one of the strongest and most beautiful seraphim. She just observed the screen in detail and realized that something didn't add up. Griselda will it be my imagination or something else is happening she said seriously. Azazel, one of the former governors of the Fallen Angels, who clearly realized that the subject is only taking advantage of the moment and Rumi's innocence. Azazel so this has gone almost far he said with some annoyance. Inside the screen. The three mentioned had arrived at an upper-class hotel, where only rich people could pay and enter a room where only. Rumi and Coral were in bed with only their somewhat explicit clothing, but also somewhat desired to be dominated and taken by the man. Alexander had first kissed Coral, who touched his lips for a short duration, and then kissed the Rumi in a provocative manner. Finally arriving where Alexander had taken the first action of intimate tension. Imagine the whole scene of intimate moments and how it would be taken. I don't put lemon because then they work for me. A few hours have passed, both girls were satisfied, but also wanted to feel again without thinking about the consequences. As the days, weeks and years pass, where Rumi has become cold and indifferent towards Issei, she only has one thought of feeling loved and desired by the man that Issei has not given her. Rumi's mind had corrupted him by Alexander by words empty, which is the best and would be enjoyable. Letting you see that there are worlds that take advantage of innocence and vulnerability. Off screen. Everyone was surprised, disgusted and in shock at how they got to such a point. Everyone listened as if there was a broken plate, showing Issei with a broken heart, who watched on the screen in disbelief, anger and sadness, while the girls they consoled him quickly. Issei I have tried so hard to be a good boyfriend, I have been so loving, attentive and a listening person, I have done so much for her that I have loved, but what did she do, she just let herself be carried away by lust and desires, I continue believing that she was manipulated and taken advantage of, but it was not like that, I already saw that that woman. You were only playing with my feelings and taking advantage of my good heart, she said coldly, pain and anger. I don't know why I'm crying, why would it bother me to get depressed, why would it bother me that she deserves my tears, I'm not a toy to be treated like this, he said melancholy. Briagna, Roswis, Irina and Yudo Yumi quickly consoled him before Issei fell further into the depression that he had hidden for so long. Meanwhile those present. Searches and the other mass were silent and sad for the security, since they knew that this type of case also occurred in the underworld. 
Azazel stood with his arm crossed and a serious look, since he didn't know what to say, and he also doesn't know what the love relationship is like, which he had never experienced, which was only focusing on experiments and studying the sacred gears. Enemu, Barakiel and Shalzim he was just reflecting in silence, and from Barakiel he knew that Issei kept his pain for a long time. He also understands but not in any other way. He remembered the loss of his wife and felt something sad. On behalf of the angels who Michael who knew would come to this point. He just remained silent and sad for the security. Avoiding overthinking. Gabriel was processing the information, reading Issei's heart who felt very bad and approached to console him. This has surprised Griselda Corda and Zenovia, who could not believe that the strongest and most beautiful seraph is going to comfort the security. Zenovia hey older sister, not that she is a serious and mature woman she said intrigued. Griselda I also thought the same thing, she is not one to get involved in another individual's personal matter, but this is a special case she said seriously but inside happy. Tsusuki I will leave you for the moment that you rest and we see another universe that is not so sad NTR could say. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want the next part. Also check out my other video that has been shown and left. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video please like and share this video. And have a fantastic day bye.